Hello, my beautiful loves. Welcome to your love reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So my loves, I haven't posted on here in a while. I hope everyone is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. So I'm going to try to incorporate this in my daily schedule again. So we go back to posting almost every day. Okay. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina and this is a Pisces only channel. Um, for all other sign placements, you could go to a uh, tarot of light, my main channel. I have a cancer only only channel a Virgo only channel and a Leo only channel those are all below along with my TikTok recommended readers decks used um, so guys readings can be vice versa flip it twist it reverse it to whatever way resonates with you okay spirit tell me about Pisces please Sun Moon rising and Venus tell me about Pisces please Sun Moon rising Venus tell me about Pisces please Sun Moon rising and Venus. Okay. We have the Emperor, Aries Taurus energy. We've got the Ace of Wands. We have the Ten of Pentacles. We have the Three of Swords, the Three of Wands, and the Queen of Cups. Piscean energy. Oh, Pisces. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Queen of Swords, the Page of Swords, and the Seven of Swords. Pisces. Okay. So what we have here, Pisces, now this could be you, could be your person. I don't know. Take it as it resonates. But someone here is either missing you or you are missing somebody. And I feel that when someone goes to look up somebody's social media to see where they're at, what they're doing, is there a chance we could get back together? They're about to be heartbroken. Like someone here is going to be shattered because somebody is doing well. They're in a committed relationship. We're talking about emperor, ten of pentacles type shit. This is like marriage. This is someone had a baby. This is somebody is in a long-term connection, doing good, feeling good. And with that queen of swords energy and the seven of swords here, <clears throat> excuse me, there's almost an energy of like, I don't know why, but someone may feel betrayed by this. Like, you know, somebody here maybe walked away, a connection ended, maybe they were supposed to do good and they're not. And they're coming to realize that it's almost like, like, I miss you. I thought you were going to miss me back. Like, do you see what I'm saying? Instead, no, you went off and had this beautiful life or whatever. Um, someone wants to work this out. They really do. But I, I feel like somebody's in for a little bit of a shock here because it's like, you know, I thought you would miss me too. I thought you would miss me too. Eight of Swords here and the Knight of Swords. I feel like, you know, I can't forget you. I, I want to come back. I can't forget you, but I can't. Tell me about the Queen of Cups. Pisces, we got the Emperor to the Empress. We've got the we've got the Ten of Cups under the deck. Someone here has moved on and like really glowed up three of wands and the six of wands in the reverse and the moon cancer Piscean energy. We have someone here that's stalking. We've got someone here that feels a little ashamed because of how bad they lost out here. Someone here, you know, is realizing that plain and simple, they lost. You know, they lost, they, they lost a, a good situation. Five of cups. This person is having a lot of regrets. So Pisces, again, it could be you. It could be your person. Tell me about the three of swords and the knight of cups with the eight of cups and the fool. Six of pentacles and the five of pentacles with the ace of cups. So interestingly, though, I feel like it's this person that walked away. This person walked away. This person, you know, decided to go off, start a new beginning somewhere else. They gave their time and attention to one person. They started a new relationship and left someone out in the cold. And I don't know. I guess that's it. Yeah, see, Page of Wands and the Ten of Swords. I, I feel like whoever they were talking to, that ended. And now they want to come back around, Pisces. And that door is not open anymore. That door is shut, locked, bolted, sealed. It's, it's not, you know... The, sorry, but my door is not open anymore. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. And the Two of Cups. Tell me about this Emperor and the Tower and the Nine of Swords with the Two of Swords and the Justice card. Someone has moved on to somebody better. 
oh my gosh, I'm, I'm hearing a song. It's an old song. No idea what the name is. As you could see, I'm a very informative reader. <laughs> I have no idea what the name is. Um, but it's that song that's like, I, I hope he buys you flowers. Hold on. Let me see if I can find the title because it's like ringing in my head. When I was your man, when I was your man, that's the name of the song. Look it up because it's screaming in my head. So it's, it's this energy of, you know, I hope he's treating you, but at the same time, it's like, it's like this person is seeing that you're being treated so much better and that you're so happy, you know, again, emperor, empress energy, marriage, you could have had a child with somebody or, you know, someone here just puts you on a pedestal. Like, you know, there's a long-term commitment here. You're engaged to be married and someone's realizing with that justice card, I deserve this. I deserve to be cut out. And with that nine of swords energy, they're kicking themselves in the butt. It's like a huge, it rocks this person's world because they were supposed to go off and have this beautiful new beginning. Initially, when this connection fell apart, they had somebody. They were supposed to go off and, you know, live happily ever after and you were the one that was supposed to you know be sitting on the couch crying missing them that table has turned oh, look at that <laughs> page of cups in the world card that table has turned tell me about the ace of wands here for pisces we've got the knight of swords Ace of Wands and the Knight of Swords and the Queen of Swords. Yeah, they're they're racing back and they're hitting a wall. They're racing back and they're hitting a wall. Queen of Pentacles, the Nine, uh, excuse me, the Queen of Pentacles, the Five of Wands and the Devil. Could be a Capricorn, Taurus or a Virgo. But Pisces, uh, this person is angry and they're jealous and they're mad. They're angry, they're jealous, and they're mad that you have what they were supposed to have. Now, again, Pisces, this could be the other way around. This could be the other way around, Pisces. But someone here is mad. They're mad that somebody is, is meant to have something that they were supposed to have. Tell me about Pisces, please. Tell me about Pisces, please. Page of Cups in the reverse and the seven of cups seven of swords under the deck the star aquarian energy queen of wands at the reverse leo sag aries and the ten of swords ace of pentacles page of pentacles and the four of cups this is the side of the person that left this person here Yep. This person made promises they did not mean. It was all an illusion. If anything, this person was talking to multiple people. This person was lying, giving this person false hope. And the Queen of Wands in the reverse is someone who's very promiscuous. This is someone who likes to control people, play people like puppets. Someone who's, you know, jealous, very angry type and very negative energy, okay? This is someone that wants to win. You know, this is someone that will break up a relationship just to say, ha ha, I took your man or ha ha, you know, I was hitting your girl last night. That's that type of energy. So this person on this side broke up this connection, lied, was cheating with multiple people, and then it ended. Do you understand? So with the Ace of Pentacles here, this person was promising the moon, the star, the world, and everything. But, you know, with that Page of Pentacles and that Four of Cups, when someone came in and said, hey, you know, I'm here. I'm here. It's time for you to keep your promises. They were very disappointed with that Four of Cups. They didn't get anything that they wanted. OK, they were expecting this person's full commitment. And this person was like, we could be friends. I'm OK with friends. This person's like friends. I just left my person to be with you. What do you mean friends? You know, that's that queen of wands in the reverse energy. Tell me about the page of cups in the reverse. The ten of wands. Tell me about the seven of cups and the chariot cancerian energy. Yeah, I feel like this third party was making so many promises 
and saying, well, obviously you don't love me. Obviously you don't want to be with me. You're still with them. Do you understand? This person was actually overwhelming this, this Knight of Cups. And they were overwhelming this person to leave. And with the Chariot and the Seven of Cups, someone here made themselves appear like they were the right choice, but it was an illusion. And you see now this person regrets walking away. They regret walking away. Tell me about the Seven of Swords and the Hierophant. This person promised commitment. They promised commitment. They promised, you know, whatever, but it was a lie. With the full card here, this person was, it was all a joke to them. Tell me about the star card and the seven of wands. So, you know, this person left going towards this person here and whatever they hoped would happen got pushed away. So you see that seven of wands, this is communication. This is someone saying, hey, but wait a minute, I thought we were going to move in together. Wait a minute, I thought you wanted to get married. Wait a minute, I thought this was supposed to happen. And we have this queen of wands in the reverse saying, I'm busy. I don't got time for none of this. I don't know what you're talking about. So someone here was talking about, well, I thought this was going to happen. You know, wheel of fortune, someone, the tables are turning on this person. Queen of wands in the reverse. <laughs> the devil. I'm telling you, this person's toxic. Virgo energy. And meanwhile, they ended things with a pre-empress. Pre-empress energy, nine of pentacles, Virgo energy. You see, this person is a catch. You don't run across nine of pentacles energy every day. Do you understand? And, you know, this emperor came in and made this pre-empress an empress. And, you know, now there's happiness. Now there's joy. Now there's, you know, this, this empress is happy with their emperor now. Tell me about the challenge here. The strength card, yeah, someone here is, oh my gosh, someone here is just like, they, they, they're really in their head. The ace of swords. <sighs> this person's trying to be strong and accept the truth, but they can't. They're, they're stalking. This person can't stop looking at social media. They can't stop like looking at the couple, like they're just obsessed. That they can't believe that this empress has moved on to something happy and that they're being left with nothing. They just can't believe it, Pisces. They can't believe how the tables have turned. It's like they're in awe and they're stalking. They can't stop looking at someone's social media. They can't stop looking at the pictures of them kissing, of this emperor and this empress kissing, traveling, their wedding pictures, new baby, whatever it is. They just, they're just in disbelief. They're in disbelief on how badly this situation has turned on them. Okay. All right, guys, I love you so very much and I'll see you soon.